What is going on today, guys? We are back out here again with the Axial Rift. Again, this one is still not mine. This one I am borrowing out here having some fun with it. This is a super cool rig, and I brought it out to the trail sand tracks to see if I could find some kind of big waterfalls to rock bounce our way up. Some of the access trails out here are just like this, full of sand and rocks, so super fun to uh, try and bounce your way up. Driving one-handed is a little tricky, but we're going to do our best. Let's have some fun with this axial rig. Well, all right, this is the main waterfall that I kind of had in mind when I came out to Santhrax. It's just this big, slick rock climb. We're going to see if we can get this rift up there, so... We got all the power we could ever need. Let's see what happens. Uh, uh oh. It's super steep. And I don't want it to flip over backwards up there. It's probably going to happen. Well, that was interesting. There we go. <laughs> well, it's upside down in a crack at the very top. Now I have to hike up there and get it. All right. I can barely hike up here. It's so dang steep. Let's see if we can't get a view from the top now. So one thing a couple guys have asked about is how it crawls. Let me show you. It's a non-censored brushless system, so it cogs really bad. So it is absolutely not a crawler, but it goes fast. So it makes up for that. And it's a rock bouncer, not a rock crawler. Ooh, right on the front axle. Well, that made it look easy. <laughs> Now it's upside down at the bottom. A couple really cool features on the truck. Using a smart battery with the Spectrum stuff, it tells me where my battery level is. We just started, so I've still got a full battery. And then on the truck itself, it's got a gyro in the radio, so it communicates and automatically steers for it. Got one hand holding my GoPro. The controller's sitting over there, so this is all the truck. So that way, if you get going fast and it takes off sideways, it automatically corrects and tries to keep you going straight and it's even adjustable with the steering rate over here on the controller all right guys so we've gone straight up kind of on the right side let's see if we can get over on this left side and get the truck up through there oh yeah piece of cake Guys, I'm really just babying this thing. It's got so much more power than this. Watch this. I'll just give it a little half throttle bump here. Yeah, this thing's got some power. 2200 kV actually. So I mean, you can just hike along with it. Just letting it cruise along like this, no big deal. Blast up a hill. You don't have to have a crazy terrain like this to get out and enjoy this thing. A couple small hills, you could have a good day. So this one does have the updated front axle housing at this point. So a little bit tougher for you guys. Axial did come out and say that, hey, there was an issue. We got it resolved. So they got different plastics, I guess is what they did. Oh. Oh, 
that was a rough ride. All right, one more. Right on the front axle. Get a good look at those cut Super Swamper tires. These things howl on the rocks. That's pretty cool. I love the way they screech. They're a pretty stiff compound, which is probably what you want with this much power. Nice little power wheelie up at the top. Yikes. If you guys can't tell or not, I am not going gentle on this thing. See? Crazy stuff like that. There's no reason it should have stayed on all four tires. And then you'll tip it over in flat sand. I'll tell you what, guys. We're on the trail called Sandthrax. It is a 10 rated buggy trail for real rock crawlers. But I can think of another big sandstone obstacle that we should go rock bounce our way up. And it's pretty famous for Sand Hollow. So we'll cruise over there. We'll take a look. All right, guys, here we are. We just teleported over here. I've got the axial rift. And if you've ever run double Sammy before, you're gonna know exactly where we're at. We went over to the chute with the axial rift. Let's see if we can get this thing to go up it. Should do it pretty easily. Uh-oh. Uh, all the way down on the roof. Just depends on how much bouncer you want to put in this. Almost. There we go, that was the run I wanted. A little spicy. This is really steep. Well, we ended up back on our wheels, that works. <laughs> Man, this thing just tips over all the damn time. Now, I personally have run a vehicle up the chute before. It was my old Jeep that I had, but uh, I no longer have it. It's a really big, intimidating obstacle, but as long as you can keep your tires balanced on both sides, it's really not too bad in a vehicle. It's steep, it's big, it's intimidating, but really not all that technical. taking some mileage off these swampers here. One of the biggest things I'm struggling with here is just that I'm driving one-handed and I'm not fast enough with one thumb compared to using a hand for steering. So corrections are a little slow on my part. Okay, let's chase it on up here. Uh, I'm trying not to fall down the chute while chasing a rock crawler. Rock bouncer. Here we are on top of the chute. There's even more stuff to bounce up. This whole place is nothing but rocks. Pretty fun. Ooh, right down on the side of the axles. That's a pretty good jump. Let's see if we can do it again. This was a mistake. I need to turn around. Okay, don't flip. We need to get you back up here. No, no flipping. This is 
a life or death situation here, Rift. Come on. Oh, shit. 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 Oh. That was bad. Damage report. It isn't. Wow, that thing took a real hit there. It literally fell off of there all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Okay guys, our battery's about to die on this rift. We gotta get this jump, this is our shot. Got a little front flip on the end. That's, that's full throttle. We're out of battery. Well, yeah. Well, all right, guys, that is the Axial Rift. We just went and drove up the chute here in Sand Hollow after running a full trail on Sandthrax. Rock bouncing our way all up and down these hills. This rig is super fun. As you can see, this thing will take a hit. I know there's a lot of people that had some issues with them, but I've had really good luck with it. It's been a freaking blast. I might have to go pick one up. You guys will have to let me know what I should do. Be sure to hit the affiliate links down below where you can pick up an Axial Rift. Hopefully they got them in stock. It would help support the channel. I am going full time on YouTube. I greatly appreciate your guys' time. Leave a comment. We'll see you in the next one. Keep the rubber side down.